And today we're gonna to be talking about diabetes cures. Is there, a, is there a cure for type two diabetes? Well, in my hands, I've got three unbelievable natural remedies that I don't believe the medical establishment or more specifically the pharmaceutical companies want you to know about. Well, why would they, why would they not want you to know about this stuff? Well, here's the thing. The pharmaceutical industry is massive. The diabetic industry is huge. Over 300 million people in the world have type 2 diabetes. You think that's a lot of money for the pharmaceutical industry, right? Perhaps? So, the other thing is that a lot of drugs, they don't actually work when it comes to, when it comes to diabetes care. We know, and the science has shown, that in terms of diabetic management, these drugs are more dangerous than anything. Drugs that were used in the, in the 1950s, for the most part, have all been taken off the market because they were shown to increase the risk of heart disease. And then more recently, drugs like Avandia, which were pretty much banned out of Europe because of, it was shown to double the risk of cancer. And now we're seeing more and more of that with various other drugs that they're coming out with. So I'm gonna share with you three amazing solutions to diabetes, to reversing diabetes and preventing it in the first place. Here's something I want you to remember and realize and never forget this, is that if you've got type two diabetes, it is not a life sentence. It is actually one of the easiest, and I don't say that in a condescending way, I say it in an optimistic way. It is one of the easiest diseases to completely reverse through diet and lifestyle alone, okay? A combination of eating right and exercise will bring you back to normal. I've seen it thousands and thousands of times. My own dad had diabetes when he was 45, and with some very simple changes to his diet and his exercise, he was able to recover from that in three months. And you can do the same. Doesn't matter if you just got diagnosed or if you've been suffering for 10 years. I'm serious about this, okay? So, first thing I wanna share with you is this bottle right here. It's actually empty because I use it so often. It's apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has been shown to reduce the glycemic load of a specific food, which basically means if you eat something, your blood sugar elevates, right? It goes through kind of a, a blood sugar spike if you wanna think about it. Apple cider vinegar has been shown to decrease or blunt that blood sugar response, which is very beneficial because let's say you're having a donut, which I would not recommend you do, but let's say you did. Having apple cider vinegar and some water beforehand will actually reduce the blood sugar impact of that donut. So how does it work? Well. Apple cider vinegar has a compound called acetic acid, and it's the acetic acid, which is also found in white vinegar for that matter, that does the magic. So apple cider vinegar, add it into your salad dressing, have it in some water before you start eating, have it in, you know, at any point of the day, you can enjoy this. There are tremendous benefits above and beyond blood sugar, weight loss, um, you know, candida fungal issues, apple cider vinegar is incredible for a lot of those. Number two, cinnamon. Cinnamon is a beautiful spice. It not only smells great, it tastes great. And again, like with apple cider vinegar, it reduces the blood sugar response you have to food. The other th cool thing is that with time, it actually improves your body's sensitivity to insulin so that your body doesn't have to produce as much to get the sugar out of the blood. The problem with diabetes is that your body does not respond to insulin anymore, and that's why it's called insulin resistance, right? So your body is resistant to insulin, and insulin is necessary because insulin is kind of the, the chaperone to take sugar out of your blood and into your cells. And if sugar does not get into your cells, your blood sugar remains elevated. And that's a very dangerous thing to have happen. With diabetes, we know that diabetes is the, is the number one cause of blindness in America. And that's all to do with elevated sugar in the blood, which damages the blood vessels 
around your eye, in the retina and so forth. Okay, so it's very, very, I mean, how would uh, neuropathy, right? Losing limbs, like losing your feet and legs because the nerves have been damaged as a result of high blood sugar, okay? It's crazy, so you gotta get that sugar out of the blood and your body has to become, resi uh, has to become sensitive or responsive to insulin once again. Cinnamon can help. Another thing that can help, which nobody knows of, that I'm aware, I mean, very few people know about this, and I'm, I'm on a mission to spread this word, is this right here. This is a white powder. It's a good one, not the bad kind. It's called potato starch, raw potato starch. And this is just one example of a super starch that is called resistant starch. Resistant starch is not absorbed by your body. It's actually fuel for the bacteria in your gut. And we know that dysbiosis or imbalanced gut bacteria is a very big correlate with obesity and diabetes. So cleaning up the gut is very important, but even more above and beyond that is that resistant starch, ha resistant starch has been shown to decrease blood sugar response to foods, increases insulin sensitivity, decreases hunger, which is very important for you know abolishing cravings and stuff like that, and it's been shown to help you lose weight. Okay, this stuff is incredible. You can buy it at any grocery store, health food store. It costs close to nothing. All of these three cures right here, okay? Cinnamon, apple cider vinegar, potato starch. They cost close to nothing and they will give you such a good bang for your buck. But remember, these are not three all by themselves without doing anything else that are gonna you know, miraculously bring you back from you know, type two diabetes. You have to be able to clean up your diet as well. You have to be eating more whole foods. Get rid of the junk. You gotta get active. You gotta get exercising. But these three in addition to that are gonna make a huge difference. So in finishing, I want you to be optimistic. I want you to believe that there is hope because there is, okay? It doesn't matter if you know every single person in your family has diabetes or had diabetes. Your future is determined by you. And up until this point, you know maybe you didn't know about this stuff, but now you do. Now it's your responsibility, if you really want to live longer, to live healthier, to be there for your loved ones and not be dependent on them, to be dependent once again, or independent once again, sorry, to be in control of your life, you need to take responsibility. And I hope these three things start to make their way into your day on a daily basis. They're very, very simple to use. Cinnamon, you can add into your morning oatmeal, you can put it in the smoothies. Apple cider vinegar, I just mentioned. Potato starch, add a tablespoon or two to your morning water or your smoothie. Um, you can go up to about four or five tablespoons for maximum benefits throughout the day. And there it is, okay?